This video is meant for the educational purpose. Please ensure you understand the step before using any script. The goal is to help you to learn how to complete the lab effectively while following the quick lab turns and services and YouTube community guidelines. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. In this video, I am going to guide you through the process to complete this lab and help you to understand each step. First, login with your quick lab credentials and once done with that, in the description box of this video, I have shared the GitHub link which will help you to automate some tasks over here. However, I will recommend you to follow along and understand what each command does so you can learn the process effectively. I will encourage to open and review the script to understand each step. So first of all, just me scroll down over here and from here just me open this link in incognito window over here. This will activate your cloud shell. So just me wait for that. And it's finally done. Now what you do, we have to just run this command over here. Okay. Now the curl command will download the file of the GitHub repo to your cloud shell. Okay. Then we have to make this file executable. That's why we have to run the ch mod. And for the running the command, we have to just run this command. So just copy this, come back over here, paste, hit enter. Wait for a second and then just click on this authorize button over here. Once you run this script, it will automate many of your steps to required to complete the lab. But it's essential to understand the process behind those steps. The goal is to use this script as a learning tool to help you to complete the lab, not just get a score. After the script run, you can go to the lab page and click on the check my progress to see the score. Make sure to review what each task does and why it's important in the lab so that you are not just getting a score but actually learning the concept. And it's finally done. Okay, now once you're done with this command over here, now make sure that you have to check the score up to task number three. So just me come back to the lab instructions, click on the check my progress for the task number one, two, and three. If you do not follow this, then you won't get a full score on the task number three. Why? Because on the task number four, first of all, we are going to remove the file, and after that, we are going to create the same file. Okay, and that's the reason if you do not click on the check my progress on the task number three before running the task number four command then you won't get a full score on the particular lab okay now once you get a green tick over here then just me come back over here then copy this command come back over here now just me paste hit enter now just me wait for this command get execute And it's finally done. Now if you come to the lab instruction and click on the check my progress for the task, you will get a score for sure. And if the score is not updating, just may wait for a couple of minutes. Meanwhile, you can just may go through each and every task and understand what you have done on this particular lab over here. Once you get a score on each and every task, after that you can just may end the lab. Just make sure that you have learned the concept of this particular lab. And that's it for this video. If you have any doubts and or any question, please let me know in the comment section. I will help you and clear your doubts. Thanks for watching and have a good day guys. Remember, this video is for educational purpose. Please make sure you understand the step and follow the quick lab terms and services and YouTube community guidelines.